welcome back to another lesson. In this one, we will practice some very common sentences that you might need if you ever have to visit a doctor's office in Germany. Which will of course hopefully never happen, but it's good to be prepared in any case, right? So, in other words, things to say at a doctor's office or beim Arzt, beim Arzt. We will start with a typical dialogue between a doctor and a patient. And at the end, I will give you some more useful phrases and vocabulary around symptoms and other medical stuff. So please listen to what people say and try to repeat after them. Guten Tag. Guten Tag. Wie geht es Ihnen? Mir geht es gar nicht gut. Ich bin krank. Ah, wo tut es denn weh? Ich denke, ich habe Fieber. Ich bin sehr müde. Mir ist heiß und kalt. Ich verstehe. Haben Sie auch Husten? Ja, ich habe auch Husten. Mal sehen. Bitte machen Sie den Mund auf. Ja, Sie haben eine Erkältung. Ist das schlimm? Nein, das ist nicht schlimm. Ich gebe Ihnen Medizin. That was a very typical dialogue at a doctor's office. At least that's how it used to be before Corona. So one of the first things you will be asked when visiting a doctor and also when meeting and having small talk with people is the question, how are you? Wie geht es Ihnen? Wie geht es Ihnen? This question uses the polite formal you. If you want to ask a friend or a peer, you can also say, Wie geht es dir? Wie geht es dir? Now, if you are feeling well, you can answer with, Mir geht es gut. Or even, Mir geht es sehr gut. Mir geht es gut. Mir geht es sehr gut. If you've had better days but can't really complain, you can say ganz okay. Ganz okay. If you are having a bad day or are feeling unwell, you can say mir geht es gar nicht gut. Mir geht es gar nicht gut. And if you want to make sure to get plenty of pity, you can say Mir geht es sehr schlecht. Mir geht es sehr schlecht. It might be important for you to know that the question Wie geht es dir in Germany is not used as casual greeting like for example in America where you will more often than not not even answer or just say the same thing back. Here we take your questions for face value so be prepared to get an honest answer if you ask someone, how are you in Germany? Okay, now on to describing your actual symptoms. Ich habe Fieber. Ich habe Fieber. Ich habe Husten. Ich habe Husten. Ich habe Schnupfen. Ich habe Schnupfen. You can start with Ich habe in any case and then add any noun that describes your symptoms best. If you have pain somewhere, you can say something like 
Ich habe mm -hmm, Schmerzen. And whatever it is that hurts is put in front of Schmerzen. So you can, for example, have Kopfschmerzen or Bauchschmerzen. Kopfschmerzen. Bauchschmerzen. Unlike in some other countries, you normally only go to a hospital in Germany if you need a surgery, had an accident, or need to stay over for a longer treatment. In that case, you will go to a Krankenhaus. Das Krankenhaus. For all other kinds of medical treatments, we don't normally visit a doctor at a hospital. Instead, we go to specialized doctor's offices, which we call die Praxis. Die Praxis or die Arztpraxis. Die Arztpraxis. There we will find the Schwester or die Krankenschwester and of course a doctor, der Arzt oder die Ärztin. With that vocabulary, you should be equipped to get through the next winter season easily. Talking about winter, if you would like to know how to talk about seasons and the weather, the next lesson might just be right for you. I will see you there.